A 17-year-old Booker High School student died today of self-inflicted wounds she suffered earlier this week. Now teachers and counselors are wondering what went wrong and how to help other students cope with feelings of loss and hopelessness. SNN Local News 6 reporter Jim Spiewak has more. Words can't begin to describe what a student suicide does to friends, family, a school, and community. Robin Marinelli with the Sarasota School District is in charge of helping those close to the victim get through the mourning process. The question is why? Could they have done anything? There's anger because they're, they've lost a friend. After an incident like the one at Booker High, the school district has grieving counselors working with students, faculty, and even parents. Every person goes through the grieving process differently, and then you also, we have to watch out for people for the post-traumatic syndrome, so we'll, we'll, it could go on for, for months. It just depends on how um, people cope with it. For a question that has no answer, Marinelli tries to explain the one issue that comes up most often. Why? And something that is a very short term becomes a long term because they, they don't, they just look at, you know, I'm, I just don't want to be around anymore and they don't always know the act, what that finality is. Educators know it's important to get out ahead of these hopeless feelings before it's too late. And as students work to cope in the coming weeks, recognizing those emotions is more important than ever. That was Jim Spiewak reporting there. Community sessions will be held Monday at Sarasota High and Tuesday at Laurel Nokomis from 6 to 8 p.m. For any parents who want to learn more information or how to look for signs of suicide.